Hello! In this video, we're going to find the derivative of the graph of some parametric equations at a specific value of the parameter. So we're going to graph these parametric equations, and then we're going to find basically the slope of the tangent line uh, to the graph, which is the derivative. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to put your calculator in parametric mode. So you click on where it says mode, so press the mode button. And then you want to go down and select parametric. So let's do that. So here we are, parametric, and then enter. All right, let's get out of here. So to get out of here, you have to press quit. So quit is a blue key. So you first have to press second. So second, quit. Again, you go to mode, you go down to parametric using the arrow keys, then you press enter. And to get out of here, you have to quit. So quit is a blue key. That means you have to press second first. So second, quit. All right, let's go to the graph. So to graph parametric equations, you have to go to the graphing menu. So you want to press Y equals. And then here you see I have a graph from another problem I was doing. So I'm gonna hit clear to get rid of this. And I'll enter uh, these graphs here. So X will be six, and then here's the cosine key. And then our variable key is right here. You'll notice it has a T. It doesn't really matter. So let's close the parentheses. And then I'll use the down arrow key to go to the next one. So six sine. This should be a circle, by the way. This is a circle of radius six centered at the origin. Let's go down here. All right, so everything looks good. So now let's go ahead and um, hit graph. So it's graphing really slow. That's because my um, my step in my window is really slow because I was doing another video. Uh, so let's just give it a second and let it graph. Notice it gives us the orientation because it's being graphed so slowly. It's telling us that the orientation is counterclockwise. It's taking a bit of time. We're almost there. <laughs> Fun times. Okay, so to find the derivative we're going to go to the calc menu, which is a blue key. So let's hit second, trace. And we want dy dx. So dy dx, let's select that one. So again, we went to second, trace. Go down to dy dx, hit enter. And then now we just have to enter pi over four. So pi is right here. It's where the caret key is. So you have to hit second first. So second, pi, divided by four. And let's hit enter. And there it is. The slope of the tangent line is negative one. You see how it marks it there for you. So if you were to draw a line that just touches at that point, that is tangent, you would get a line with slope of negative one. Let me show you again. It's second, trace, go to dy dx, hit enter. And now just type in pi over four. So second, and then caret key, and then divide it by four. And there it is. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.